Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Steven Aldaco. In today's video, we're gonna show you the top five JDM vans, which you can import from Japan into the United States. The camper vans in Japan are super cool, and I got sucked down a YouTube rabbit hole, and I'm gonna share all of that information that I found in one giant video for you all. JDM camper vans are super awesome. They're four wheel drive. They're small, compact, practical, and affordable. So if you enjoy van life and hiking content, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up so you can get informed whenever I release new videos. All right, so let's get into it. The top five JDM vans that you can import from Japan. So first up, we have the Toyota Hiace. This is a really cool four x four camper van. It's diesel and it's also a turbo. It's not powerful by any means, but it's gonna give you really good gas mileage. Now these are actually very capable. I came across this video here and you can see it in action. Just check it out. It's crazy to see these Japanese vans just like taking on this big obstacle with no problem at all. It doesn't even look like this one's lifted. It looks like totally stock. Wow, that's just so cool. And this has full time four wheel drive so you can really adjust it and get all four wheels going at the same time. Look at that. Oh my God. No problem. Absolutely no problem. And then check out if you can see the sunroof on the top of these things. You'll probably get a good view here. Yeah, look at the top. You can see it's got like skylights, um, which is really cool if you're going to be camping inside of that vehicle. So awesome. They don't make them like they used to. So this is the Toyota Light Ace, and it's basically the same thing, the same like engine, but this one's a little bit modified to be um, like more like a camper RV. And this is totally factory, so you could buy this from Toyota. And just look at the awesome use of space it has here. You get the sink, stove, refrigerator, inside and outside showers. You can sleep like four people in this thing. It's just incredible. Wow. And I like that it's so compact, you know? Look at that. Propane on the outside. Beautiful. Ooh, coffee. Yeah, look at that thing. It's like a wider Volkswagen, you know, camper. Dude, so cool. So next up we have the Nissan Homie. And, <laughs> Homie. I didn't really see uh, too many videos of this thing in action, but it's very similar to the Toyota Hiace 4x4 turbo diesel. Now what's interesting about these vehicles is they have the engine inside of the vehicle in the cabin, so they can fit more space in the back because the nose of the vehicle doesn't have to be so long. So I could imagine this vehicle being about the same size as a Honda Element, just with more interior space. Really clever design on these Japanese camper vans. And you can see there it's the four wheel drive model. Super cool. I can't tell if this awning is aftermarket or if it's installed already, but either way, it's really cool to have an awning uh, on your camper vehicle. And now we'll look at the inside of the vehicle. It's just got that really cool 90s retro vibe to it. Um, it's all, of course, it's right hand drive because it's from Japan. And the interior is modular, similar to the Honda Element. So you can actually, from factory, convert this into like a dining, eating area. You can turn this into like a sleeping area. And that's all straight from the factory, which is super, super, super cool. Yeah, look at that. That looks like it has enough space for two or four people to eat right inside of your van, which is really great, especially when the weather's cold out and you're camping. And this is another Nissan Homie that I found. Um, very similar. I just wanted to give you like another view, an idea of what they look like, kind of bone stock. This one looks pretty bone stock. Next up, we have the Mitsubishi Delica. In, I think this is the most popular van to import from Japan. I see them every now and then in California. This one looks really cool from, and I believe this is all factory. It's got the factory roof rack. 
it's got the skylight up top and then inside of the vehicle you have kind of like a hot and cold box installed already so you've got this little mini fridge super awesome design and the guy who runs this youtube channel here he actually imports these vans so if you're interested in buying one of these vans i'll leave a link down below in the description so you can take a look and maybe get one of these vans for yourself same thing real-time four-wheel drive that's what that little knob is there super cool and this is the uh interior of the van and he's showing you here that the seats kind of swivel around and they also fold flat to form a bed just super cool design and i think you'll really love the next uh version of the mitsubishi delica that we're going to show you here check it out boom look at that monster truck that's insane uh, obviously this is highly modified but it's so cool check his channel out my retro vans um look at that thing that's just so crazy and i bet you that's like super super fun to drive and it looks like it can handle all sorts of like off-road adventures definitely want to hop behind the wheel in that thing that's for sure and look how look how tall <laughs> just ridiculous compared to what the stock one is incredible so next up we have the toyota hilux now this isn't a van, but I came across one of these on TikTok. I was blown away at how the Japanese engineers took this Toyota Hilux, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome platform. And they built this really clever RV design in it. It's super compact, but once we get to the interior of this uh, truck, you'll see how cool it is on the inside. So last up we have the Nissan Atlas and then also a version of the Toyota Hi-Ace which is built more of like a, an RV style. Now I thought this was really interesting because it's about the same size as a, like a European van would be but it has all the amenities and luxuries you would find in a traditional RV just in a more compact size. Um, the interior of this is really retro but I think it's super functional. You can see there's a dining area for two that'll fold flat into a bed. And it looks like there's seating for up to nine people in this RV, which is pretty cool if you're bringing along your family onto a long road trip. But I just love how compact it is on the exterior, but how spacious it is on the interior of these vans. I'll leave links down below in the description to all of the channels whose videos I borrowed for this compilation there. So make sure to head over to their channels to show some support. And then also, if you're interested in buying these vehicles, a couple of these channels actually import these vehicles into the United States. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.